Hey there, in this video I will show you two easy ways you can make a drum loop in Ableton. This is a beginner tutorial so I'll be explaining all the tools and features you need to know along the way. This is going to be a simple tutorial but if there's any part that seems unclear, you can rewatch the video again or you can ask questions in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Right here we have Ableton opened up, your view may look slightly different but you can simply switch between the session view and the arrange view by clicking on the tab button. This is the session view and this is the arranger view. So when making drums in Ableton, the first thing you need to do is add your drum kits. And to do that, you come to the places section right here at the left side of your screen. Okay. Then you click add folder. When you click, it's going to pop up this window and then you can locate where your drums are. If you saved on your PC or on your hard drive. And when you do that, it's going to look like this. You're going to have a folder, for example, I have my parks folder already added. Now that we've added our drum kit, we need to set a tempo. The tempo is how fast or slow a song is, and it's a number measured in BPM or beats per minute. You can find the tempo at the top left of your screen in Ableton. Then you can just click on it, this number right here. You can click on it, and then you can type in the tempo you like. I'm going to go with 100, and then press Enter so that it stays there. In Ableton, there are a couple of ways to make a drum loop, and I'll show you two easy ways. The first is using the drum rack method. You can find the drum rack by clicking on drums right here at the left of your screen. Then simply drag the drum rack onto an empty insert on the MIDI clip like this. Or you can come to your arranger view by clicking tab and then having it right here already loaded. So let's go back to the session view. If you look at the bottom of your screen, you will see this interface and on the interface, you can drag and drop your drum elements from your drum kit into each pad. Right now it's currently empty, so I'm going to go to my drum kits by coming to packs right here. Okay, so I'm going to be using this drum kit by Jeb Josh. So I'm going to come to rim shots. And just by clicking each sound, you can audition them. All right, so I like the sound. I can just simply drag it onto the pad like this, and it's already loaded. Now, if you observe, there's a little space at the beginning. You can just drag this edge so that it starts exactly with the transient of the sound okay and then i'm going to do that for my kicks as well basically any sound you need to make up your drum elements okay this is for snare next i need maybe a kick so i'll go with this kick also drag and drop right here so i'm going to start with just a kick and a rim shot for now then i can just double click on this right here you can see now i have a piano roll where I can play a drum pattern. Make sure you turn it on by clicking this. All right. And now we're going to play a simple pattern. You can double click on it and it appears and left click on it again, it goes away. All right. And also if you right click in this section right here, you will see a few options. Okay. But we should be concerned with selecting a 16th note for now, okay? You can also quantize by coming right here, Control U, okay? Or changing the quantize setting, Control Shift U, all right? So let's start by playing a simple pattern. All right, so that's a simple pattern. And if you feel like the volume is too loud for the sound, you can simply adjust it by double tapping on the sound right here and then coming to volume to reduce the sound. Or you can simply reduce the velocity, okay, by just coming right here, reducing it. So either one works, okay? So let me take this velocity back up. The velocity is basically how hard 
or how loud the note hits all right so next i need to add my kick pattern just double click this in here then let's see how it sounds now now my kick is way too loud so i'm going to reduce the volume of my kick i also click in here again making sure i select my kick then reduce the volume All right, so now you can also add more elements into your drum track or rather your drum rack. Okay, let's want to add some percussions or hi-hats. You can simply drag and drop into any of these empty um, slots. Now, they are way more than this. If you scroll up, you'll see more and more, okay? So, so you basically have a lot of space to play in as many drum elements as you wish. So I'm going to add some percussions. Have this right here as well. And have this right here. So when I double click this to go back to the piano, you can see now I have more sounds right here. And if you can't hear the sound when you click them, simply click this headphone icon right here you see now you can hear the sound so when i press play and also reduce velocity of that note So let's say you want more variety, okay? You can change the timing from 16 to 32. Okay, see so now we have sp space in between, so I can reduce this. Just go to the edge of the clip to reduce it and have maybe two notes here. So let me have this right here as well. And I'm trying to layer the sound of my rim shots. And I can also reduce the sound, okay? If it's selected, I can just reduce the velocity. So now that we've done this on our drum rack in the session view, we cannot take it to the arranger view and it's really easy just left click and drag on the clip okay then click on tab to switch view and they can simply drag and drop it right here okay now you can move this slider right here and make sure it's turned on okay so when i press play now if you want the clip to extend you can just simply click on it at the top right here then press ctrl d or command d if you're using mac so, and you can allow it to loop as well by selecting this bar at the top right here and then making sure you hit the loop button right here. So right here we have a four bar loop, okay? If, if you want to add a drum loop, like a shake or a hi-hat loop, it's really easy. You can just come right here So I can just drag and drop the shaker loop onto an empty track right here on an audio track, okay? Because it's an audio file. And it's going to automatically match the timing to your drum. Now you can hear that it's too loud. Okay, you can just double click on it and reduce the gain right here. Or you can reduce the volume from here. All right, so we want to um, extend this. So you just simply Ctrl D 
and you have it looped over. So this is the first way you can easily make drum loops in Ableton. So the next way you can create drums in Ableton is also pretty easy and even more flexible. You just simply need to insert MIDI tracks, okay? So I'm going to come right here to the right hand side of my screen. Let me make this a bit bigger, okay? So I'm just going to come right here, right click, come to insert MIDI track, okay? So now I have a MIDI track. So if you want a rim shot back in here or a snare, Let's say the sound, I like the sound. You can just simply double click while you are selected. You know, make sure you are selecting the track, just double click on it and it loads it up there, okay? And same thing, I still advise, you know, you take out a little bit of the beginning so that it starts exactly where the snare starts, okay? So you can then just create a MIDI clip by double clicking. Right here, you have a MIDI clip. And sometimes it does bring out this loop. You can take it out by turning it off, okay? Because you don't want it to loop at least, not yet. So you can stretch out the clip and then play a pattern. So we can have it right here. Okay, all right, so let me reduce that. And then we can just simply um, Ctrl D to duplicate. Then we can also add another MIDI clip or MIDI track rather. Then for kicks, make sure it's also selected. You can go to your kicks. I like this kick, so just double click on it. The kick is in here now. And then just double click again to create a track. All right, then Make sure this is selected, Ctrl D. And then you can also have some variations along the way, for example, like this. Then you can also do the same for your percussions and other drum elements. Okay, and if I turn on, you know, the format shaker loop we had, you can, by the way, mute sounds by clicking on the number attached to it. That's how you mute sounds, okay? When it's grayed out, that means it's turned off. When it's highlighted with this color, that means it's turned on. So these are the two easy ways you can quickly creates a drum loop in Ableton. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe as this is my first Ableton tutorial and I'll release more tutorials every week. See you soon. Cheers.